Good afternoon, faculty, staff, students, and friends. My name is Jordan Pierre, and I'm currently a senior majoring in broadcast and digital journalism with a minor in entrepreneurship and emerging enterprise. To be here today for me is much more than a ceremony. Today is much more significant because I come from a place where I've attended more funerals and court appearances than college graduations. To be here today is a barrier broken. I have my family in attendance today, and for many of them, this is the first time they have attended a college graduation. Earning the opportunity to walk across this stage required much more than just passing classes. For what makes this institution rigorous, at least for us black and brown students, is not the curriculum, but what comes with being black in the context of America while trying to uphold academic excellence. It's not the curriculum that makes this college experience rigorous, it's occupying academic buildings and being sent suspension letters for advocating for the creation of policies that will hold every student accountable for the racial slurs and vandalism of the dorms we black students lived in. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous, it's bearing witness to your black woman friends having a focus on academia while learning they have been stripped of their agency to choose whether to give birth or not, despite having the highest mortality rate. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's being a first generation college student and not having the ability to call home to seek guidance on how to navigate the collegiate space for you are the first to do so. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's being a black student in an educational system that justifies the admission of black history through the use of the discomfort it causes our white counterparts when class discussions reveal the true history of theirs. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's studying abroad in London while 10 elderly black men and women are killed in top supermarket, just some miles away from here, simply because they were black. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous. It's having to work three jobs on campus to pay your rent and assist your parents and pioneers. Some of us in this room understand firsthand that the scholarships and financial aid we earned were not just funding us as students, they were funding our household and a community. It's not the curriculum that makes these courses rigorous, it's looking at the news and seeing someone that looks like you with the same name Jordan being choked to death by a former Marine on a subway station and witnessing his mental health being used to justify his death. I say this all to emphasize the danger of a single narrative story the danger of being left to formulate a preconceived notion of a community based on westernized media, and the danger of having a seat at the table to tell your own story. I often say that it's easy to dream, but it's hard to aspire to occupy a space that you have never seen someone that looks like you in. My presence here today will serve as proof to the next young black man or woman that despite what comes with being a black student at Syracuse University, it's possible to speak at the Newhouse graduation. There was a time when I did not know what a student marshal was until last year when I met a black woman named Adudu, a student marshal at the College of Engineering and Computer Science. There was a time when I did not believe I was gonna be the President of the United States, which is what I will one day become, until I seen Barack Obama become the President. My presence today will stand as a symbol of inspiration for the black people who hear this speech will be able to see themselves in a position I am in and aspire to do the same. I challenge my fellow graduates who are not of color to be mindful and intentional with the stories that you share, normalize and teach your children. For those stories are used to formulate a preconceived notion of who we are based on the narratives you teach and the environments you expose them to. I challenge my fellow brothers and sisters to also be intentional and thoughtful about the stereotypes we normalize and perpetuate amongst ourselves. James Baldwin once stated that if the world does it to you long enough and effectively enough, you begin to do it to yourself. You become an accomplice to your own murderers. We must ensure that we do not become that accomplice and use our platforms to empower one another. To Syracuse and to Newhouse, I challenge you all to take accountability for the trajectory the media has taken. It is not one we should be proud of. For if we take pride in being a number one communication school, we must also take ownership of the leaders and content creators for the media we consume. 
especially as we produce those who are the head of the newsroom. So we are only a microcosm of what the world will become. I challenge us all here today to denounce the stereotypes we have of one another, for the problem with stereotypes is not that they are untrue, but incomplete. As the legendary Nipsey Hussle once stated, the marathon continues. <laughs>